In this session, we're going to look at a very important framework that can actually help you as a shortcut to understand how to evaluate blockchain-based business models. Now, this is a framework that uh, we've been working on on the research at Four Week MBA, and the main idea behind it is really to break down blockchain-based projects by looking at four simple uh, frameworks, at four simple segments of each to understand what makes them up. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at a blockchain-based business model, it's very important to understand that this is much more similar to an open source uh, project than to really uh, a, a regular company. As you know, in an open source uh, project, you usually have, for instance, a foundation which manages the open source project, and then on the other side, you have a company that benefits from the, that uh, open source product. But when it comes to uh, the blockchain, a blockchain protocol, there are different elements that make it up. In the research of 4 Week MBA, we really looked at uh, four key elements. One is the value model. The other one is the blockchain model. The other one yet is really the distribution model. And then the last one is the economic model. Now, when you look at blockchain projects, uh, it's very important to understand that they're able to attract as many users as possible, but they also need to attract like developers, investors, and have a strong community that works out as the marketing and distribution for that, uh, for, for that project. So, while for, for a company, usually the marketing and the sales is done centrally, and this is true also in part for blockchain projects where you have a foundation or, for instance, a corporation behind the part of the project which can use some of that budget for marketing the project. In reality, a lot of it has to be done by the community through economic incentives. So that's why it's important that when you look at a blockchain-based project, you want to look at the value model. So what are the, the, the core values, the core philosophy, and what are the core value propositions that really make up that blockchain protocol? So what are really the the rules of the the protocol why they've been built in this way and in this uh, case uh, why uh, those uh, help build a compelling use case for users for instance if you take a main difference between a protocol like an, a cryptocurrency like bitcoin and then a cryptocurrency like ethereum they have two different philosophies while on the one side bitcoin is more really on the financial side on the other side ethereum is more like on the platform uh, business platform side so they have two completely uh, uh, different separated philosophies and therefore they also attract different kinds of people behind those projects then when it comes to the blockchain model, you want to understand what are the protocol rules, what's network shape, and what are uh, really the applications. So what's the set of use cases that come, came up uh, from, the, uh, from this uh, blockchain protocol. So think of the case, for instance, again, if we take a difference between the two main protocols like um, blockchain, like the blockchain, built with the, with the Bitcoin and that built with Ethereum, you know that, for instance, the rules underneath the two are, are different and that, for instance, a network like Ethereum is moving to a different kind of consensus algorithm like uh, proof of uh, work, uh, proof of stake instead of proof of work, that the network shape therefore may be different because based on the consensus algorithm, you, you might have a network which is more or less centralized and that the applications on top of them are completely completely different. So for instance, if you, took, uh, if you take Bitcoin, the main applications are related to, uh, to decentralized finance. If you, look like, if you take like Ethereum, decentralized finance is just one of the applications built on top of it because you have many other things like, uh, uh, you know, NFTs, uh, decentralized autonomous organization, uh, the ENS and many other applications on top of it. So that's why it's important to look at the blockchain model to understand what are the rules underneath it because you can understand what's the net network shape in the present but also what's the potential of the network shape in the future and what are the potential applications today and tomorrow and from there you want to understand the distribution model so what are the built-in incentives for uh, developers, investors, consumers, and uh, deal uh, making so what are the distribution deals that those uh, blockchain platforms have in place to keep 
bringing in users and developers. And then, of course, the advantage, the key advantage of uh, blockchain-based uh, business models is that they have built-in economic incentives that can be actually used to align the different players, uh, like, for instance, miners, developers, users, consumers, and also investors around the same project. So if you look at those core elements, so what's the value model, uh, the, the blockchain model, the distribution model, and the economic model, that's how you can get a full picture of how a blockchain-based business model works.